Ah, I'm gonna fat. I bring her home, Zen. We are Andre and Lisa. We're currently in the south of Spain with our camper van Millie. This year, we're planning an epic 20,000 kilometer road trip all the way to northern Scandinavia, then back to the south of Italy. So subscribe and join us on our adventure. Last time, we explored ancient Roman ruins. Hail to Queen Lisa! All hail! We ran on a deserted beach. We woke up to a stunning sunrise. And we failed to visit Cadiz. Okay, major change of plans. What an absolute freaking disaster. This week, we get lost in the streets of Sevilla. We eat sour oranges in a park. We show in the front door at the fort. Tienes que tener entrada. No, todo No, está todo completo. Completo. We eat some tiny churros mm. and some massive churros. <laughs> we visit Sevilla's biggest market. Nothing tells me we are late. We walk on a giant wooden mushroom. And we soak in the best of this charming city. No le quite lo. Welcome! We may well be in one of the ugliest parking lots, but it's outside one of the most beautiful cities of Spain. Oui. Yes, you guessed it, Sevilla! But there's a river right here. It's beautiful. <laughs> no, it's not beautiful. Yes, we're in a parking lot in the port of Sevilla. Very difficult to find parking close by. Mm. So we got the bicycle out, or a bike, and we're gonna try to cycle a little bit. We're gonna probably spend half a day and tomorrow a whole day if all goes according to plan. The weather's actually looking better for tomorrow. We're gonna cruise around. Lisa got a few points marked today. Oh yes, got lots of points marked. Mm. We just uh, get a feel. This might be our last, no. Our last it will stop be or last city. Our last city sure. in Spain. Because from here we're heading into Portugal. Can't wait. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go see Sevilla. Yes. And just like that, 10 minute cycle or so from the autocaravanas parking and we've made it to the Parque de Maria Luisa. Very, very big and beautiful park in the city of Sevilla. So romantic! I know where we are, but it's cool. Look at the palace, eh? This is amazing. Yeah, look at this. The Plaza de America. Yeah, that one. So cool. So cool. We need to get a Nachi. Okay, I'll balance the bike. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. My prince. <laughs> Thank you. Thick skin Nachi. Oh, they look. Mmm, it smells good. Yeah, oh my god, that is so sour. I, I think there's a reason why nobody's eating them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> brum, brum. Next stop, Torre del Oro. Ooh, and we are supposed to 
be able to climb up this tower for free on a Monday. Oh really? So let's go see if we can get in and get up. Okay, let's go. Ah. I think we can go higher than this. Uh, it's already a view from here. Let's check out this uh, little... It's pretty about the plastic. Yeah, so people don't fall out. Sevilla so far? Uh, right where I'm standing it's a lot of traffic but pretty, very pretty. I love the waterways, it's nice. There's a fur character here as well. Let's go see if we can get into a bull ring. No bullshit. Huh? <laughs> no bullshit, just bull ring. Ah. We parked over here in the auto caravanas parking and we cycled like this across the bridge and into the Parque de Maria Luisa. Went to Piazza Plaza Espana, cycled all around the park, and then came out, cycled along the river to the Torre di Oro. Mm. And now we are at the bull ring. And if all goes according to plan, we'll get to visit the Alcazar for two hours for free. If we if we can't get tickets, then what? Backup plan? Uh, backup plan is go for drinks. All right, cool. Uh, look at that one. Putting faces. Plaza del Toro. It's actually still used as a bullfighting rink, and you can go inside and do an audio tour, but that costs 10 euro. So we're not going to be doing that, but for free, you can still walk around the outside, and it's pretty nice to see. And if you close your eyes, you can hear the screaming of the poor bulls <laughs> being tortured to death. Plaza del Toro. impressive cathedral. It's like a cycle around it and have a look. <laughs> a little costly you know, right there. Yeah. Okay. We won't be going in though. It's 11 euros to go in. It's a little bit steep, you know, even like the bull ring was 10 euros. Church, 11 euros a person. Oh, that's a lot of tapas, man. What do you say? Let's rather just see the outside. I think the outside is truly magnificent. That's not a lift, that's way. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Ah, I'm gonna fat. I think I'm sad. 
We are so lost right now. So lost? We're right here. <laughs> we want to be here, inside these walls, at the Al Khazar, but we just can't find the entrance. Thanks, Google. <laughs> Ooh, inside the walls of some things or other. Spooky, spooky. Oh, wait, I see light. Yeah, it doesn't help us. No. Oh. Left. So, theoretically, on Mondays, from 4 o'clock, you can access the castle or the Alcazar for free, but there's a limited number of people allowed. And they encourage you to pre-book tickets online. Now we didn't, so we are extremely hopeful in getting in this line. But I guess if you don't try, then you wouldn't know. Es gratuita, de eso a cuatro. Pero tiene que tener entrada. No, doble comprar. No, está todo completo. Completo. Sí. No es posible comprar. Hoy no, ya mañana. Mañana. Puedo comprar. Adesso per mañana alle 4? Eh, no, però mañana non è gratis. Oh, well, there we go. Missed it by one day. I have to book the tickets online. It costs you one euro, but you have to reserve them beforehand. And we were just one day too late. So I guess we won't be seeing the Al Khazar. But luckily on the way here, I saw a place for chocolates and churros. We could so go, go tomorrow. We can go tomorrow, but then you pay 13.50 or 14.50 euro per person for the visit. <laughs> so it's not free. Okay, boys and girls, I if, guess it's a fail. If we had not been to Granada and been into the Alhambra complex there, I would definitely pay for this. I think it is worth the 13 euro 50. But seeing as we did that so recently, I don't think we really want to spend another what's it gonna be 28, 27, 28 euro. Uh, that seems that's a lot a of visit. that's a lot of tapas and beer and ice cream. Priority <laughs> there. So let's go have tapas, beer, churros, chocolates and ice cream instead. All of it at the same time. We've got 28 euros to spend. We don't have to spend. We'll save some for tomorrow. Okay. Uh, a little disappointing but we always knew it would be a hit and miss if you want to take advantage of the free Monday access. Emergency stop for chocolate and churros. No, I really hope Lisa gets the chocolate she wants this time. <laughs> I really hope so too. Not exactly liquid. Oh my god. Oh, that looks messy. Mm. <laughs> Licking your lips. Sweet. I have to find our bicycle. I have no idea where it is. I think we have to go left here somewhere. <laughs> Very optimistic Lisa's trying again. Just in case they change their minds, you know, in 30 minutes. But I guess anything is possible. I do have my doubts. I'm what you would call the realist, and this is called the optimist in this relationship. No luck. Yes. Better luck this <laughs> second time. How about no third luck. time lucky? Shall we try mm. again? Okay, I asked him, can I come at five o'clock? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all of five seconds later, Lisa discovered an ale hop. Potentially a newest favorite shop now. I think these are a lot like the mini so shops in Asia, I like to stay outside. It's probably better. Maybe that was a bad choice. Leaving her alone there. Mm. OMG! That is the coolest shop ever. Oh, you bought something. I bought something. Thing. I was good. I bought something small. <sighs> yeah. You could have left me inside there for another hour or two. I love it. Maybe this not place. today. <laughs> Shall we? Shall we move? Plaza de España, sounds about to set. Beautiful light. Ok, 
Buenas noches, Sibia. Hola, buenos días. And welcome to Sevilla, day two. Yes, we're still in Sevilla. The city is so beautiful that we want to spend another day just exploring it. Today we found ourselves on the western bank of the river in the Triana neighborhood. We are heading to the market to hopefully find ourselves a little snack before crossing over the bridge and making our way to the Setas de Sevilla. Looks a bit closed. El mercado de siempre como nunca. Is this it's the right one? Decidedly not like it's the right place to be, but let's go have a look. Nothing tells me we are late. It says it's open till 5 p.m. And I'm, are you sure? Oh, yeah. Everything's closed. So it seems there are a few places open, but. Not exactly what I expected. No, it's not what I expected at all. It is too late. Charcuterie, cheese, odd little restaurant. It's a strange combination of very fancy charcuterie places and it looks like nice restaurants and then also very messy fish and produce. Yeah, look at this. I mean, look at the chaos here. It's like, hmm, maybe, oh, there was like fish and stuff here. For the bus. Hmm. Torte yet again. I'm not sure what exactly happened. Maybe there's a secret market we don't know about. I don't know. Let's uh, walk around the block and go look for some ice cream there. Second prize. I think that's the uh, first prize. <laughs> hey, that's right. Took Lisa five seconds to find the ice cream shop. <laughs> I think I found our ice cream stop. Oh, you would never say it, but these ice creams are six euros a piece. Mm. Ice cream? <laughs> Lots of hmm today. Yeah, wow, it's a um, uh, five euro a cone. This ice cream behind you might be six, six euro, five ninety. No, five, four ninety, five euro. No, the large one's five ninety. Oh, if it's a large, yeah, sure. Yeah. You think it's a large? I have no idea, but it sounds ridiculous. Any idea of what you should be spending on ice cream is a little bit different from the average person because <laughs> there's no way now I spend six euros on ice cream. <laughs> That's twelve euros for the two of us. That's more than our dinner cost last night, including beer. No, it's a racket. All right, next stop. Let's uh, go. Let's look. see the mushrooms. That's really why I'm here to see the Santa yes. de Sevilla. Let's do it. And over there we have the Tower of Sevilla, tallest building in Sevilla and the 6th or 7th tallest building in Spain. The left. I was looking for a bicycle stop. I saw it, yeah. This is the largest wooden structure in the world. In the world. And man, is it beautiful. Oh. Wow. What? An architectural feat. Beautiful. They call it the mushroom. And there's a walkway all the way around on the roof where you get a beautiful panoramic view of Sevilla. So that's where we're gonna go. Alright, let's do it. Because it gets so hot in Spain, this creates a beautiful shaded area for people to just hang out underneath. Mm. A lot of space here. Nice benches, place for kids to play and hang out. Really cool space. Planning. I mean, I knew it was going to be beautiful, but being up here and so close to the structure, it's just so impressive. Really, really beautiful. Crazy, crazy views, that's one there. Actually, see all the way to the park there. 
that's where it's Plaza de España is all there where those towers are sticking out. This is a cathedral. And to think that this entire structure is made out of wood. It just makes it so unique. Uh, I think they use a few bolts. <laughs> okay. well, maybe, a, maybe a few pieces of metal in between, but yes. A lot of a lot of trees, but at least they made it look pretty. Amazing views as well. Now if you look really far in the distance you see the big suspension bridge. We're actually staying close to that bridge. Yeah, that's quite far. <laughs> Money, money, money! Well, seeing as ice cream is so ridiculously expensive, we're rather going to have something traditional Spanish. Churros and chocolates! Mm. Again. Mm, look at that! Mm. Nice, sick one! Chur, churro! Gracias! <laughs> Hey, we found a little piggy. A little piggy. Apples. Yum, yum, yum. I think this is a much better bet than ice cream. <laughs> ooh, 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 excuse my little. bigger than me. That's mine. what she said. It's a little churro to me. Ooh, it's messy. That's good. <laughs> Do I have chocolate all over my face? Well, that was deliciously disgusting. Was it disgustingly delicious? Mm. I feel a little bit grossed out right now. Ah, worth it. Yeah. <laughs> totally worth it. <laughs> worth every bite. Faster, faster. Mm -hmm. one step left, to the left, he Just tells one me. Step left. <laughs> Just one step left. <laughs> one step left. Just one more, please. One more. <laughs> well, that was Sevilla. A really, really beautiful city to visit. Even if you're not visiting all the museums and the touristy things, what a pleasant and beautiful, quaint city to walk around. I'm really happy that we decided to come and see Sevilla. I'm actually super happy we decided to take the bike out. Yes. Because it allows you to cover ground quite quickly and you can explore the parks and travel from point A to point B super, super fast. So it really was quite a good idea. That was Sevilla. This was our last big stop here in Spain. We are probably going to make a cup, spend a couple of days more on the coast here before we move into Portugal. So if you like the video, smash that like button, subscribe to our channel if you want to follow us on our journey through Portugal. As always, thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time. Hasta luego! Hasta luego!